Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Wissam Adnan Samara and I am from Al-Quds Open University and today I will present a paper entitled The Palestinian Economy and China's Economic Expansion. The invasion of Russia, the invasion of Ukraine by the Russian forces is another sign and marks the beginning of a new era where China and Russia's coalition is challenging the hegemony of the United States of America. With this coalition, China is not only becoming an economic power, but in addition, China's economic influence is spreading throughout the world. One channel through which this economic influence is being manifested is the Belt and Road Initiative, where the Chinese are trying to revive the old Silk Road and create an economic pathway for them, i.e. influencing most of these countries along that belt. Now, China is growing not only economically but also politically. But in this paper, we will consider only the economic effect of China. As China grows economically stronger, countries along the belt can benefit from the economic growth and economic expansion of China. For example, Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is a nation that is located strategically along this belt, and it is the road that opens, that, that opens China to Russia and Europe. So, Kazakhstan had benefited substantially from this economic expansion. Beijing's Central Asian ally is now Kazakhstan, where China had invested in transportation, energy, finance, and major projects in Kazakhstan. This had aided the Kazakhstan economy to grow in spite of the falling oil prices. So, can the Palestinians benefit from this economic expansion? It is apparent that Palestinians should rely on two things here. One, on their historical tie with China. And two, try to convince China that they are economically beneficial for China. We will first talk about the historical ties. China had supported the Palestinians in their cause throughout the years by voting always for the Palestinians in the United Nations. However, economically, China's relationship with the Palestinians hasn't prospered that much. So now, let us look at the Palestinian economy. The Palestinian economy is a small open economy controlled by Israel through the control of borders, currency, and resources, and there's roughly 120,000 Palestinian labor that work in Israel. These four factors prevent the independence of a Palestinian economy. Now, in 1994, the Palestinian Authority was created. The European powers, with the U.S., including the U.S., of course, had aided, had tried to aid the Palestinians in creating an independent economy away from Israel through giving them 
economic assistance, and foreign aid. The three most countries that provided economic assistance was the US, Saudi Arabia, and the European powers. Nevertheless, and now in 2022, the Palestinians had failed to achieve the dream of having an independent Palestinian economy away from Israel. And this was due to a number of reasons. One of them was the foreign aid that the Palestinians had received was going mostly as a result at the end to Israel due to its control of the economy, of the Palestinian economy. So the target was not met. So now we want to consider, can the Palestinians shift their attention from the United States and Europe, and if they go to China, can they achieve an independent Palestinian economy? In order to answer this question, let us look at the, the debt, the Palestinian national debt. The Palestinian national debt is broken into two parts, domestic and foreign, where the foreign debt occupies a third of the Palestinian national debt, which is not a lot. You would think that, they're more, that the foreign debt would be more. Nevertheless, if we look at the debtors that support the Palestinian Authority, unfortunately, we do not see China in there. We see the World Bank having 77% of the debt, approximately 7% of the debt. The European organizations and the Arab organizations having the rest of the debt. So clearly China is not promoting economically the Palestinian Authority. Now, can the Palestinians benefit from economic expansion of China? There's a number of challenges. One is Israel is in control of the Palestinian borders. So although Palestine might is located along the Belt and Road Initiative, however, the control is for the Israel Authority. The other challenge is the U.S. and the Europeans owe a lot to the Palestinians. It is not easy for Palestinians to shift their attention to China. And another, a third reason would be, a third challenge is, can you convince China that Palestinians are a good investment? It is a little bit hard because the Chinese aid goes purely economical. And Palestinians, unfortunately, with the lack of their control over their resources and their borders, cannot offer a lot to China. However, they should not give up. They should try and give China incentives to come and help them out in their cause of creating an independent Palestinian economy. Now, China historic relationship is good with the Palestinians. So they will invest in their historic relationship and in addition try as much as possible to strengthen their economy their economy using China's help. Now, can they shift and forget about the United States and the Europeans? Of course not. The Palestinians need everybody to help them out. So the paper had concluded after looking at certain at the historical background and certain statistical numbers that the Palestinians are not better off if they forget about the United States and Europe and go to China. But in real, but but however China's role should be parallel to the United States. They can benefit by invite by inviting China in and having not only the U.S. and Europeans, but also China in their economic hemisphere. Thus, the Palestinians can also get aid from China 
which can also pressure a little bit Israel into conceding and creating an independent Palestinian economy. Thank you very much and I hope my presentation was clear.